My name is Shane Mir. They call me the Cajun Swamp Whisperer. Yay! <laughs> Shane is like the Cajun Dr. Doolittle. How he does his things sometimes is a mystery. <laughs> Shane's well known throughout New Orleans for being really great with animals. There is no one that I would trust more in these situations than Shane. <laughs> You know, I'm trying to let you go, Shaq. This is my good time. Here you go. I own a company in New Orleans called Bayou Brothers. Animal Rescue Team. Here you guys have a problem here. We rescue and relocate all the animals you can think of. From gators to neutra to mosquito if you need. Lord, I wish I could relocate these damn man. I think what makes our job so dangerous is because we actually are dealing with dangerous animals. There's things that will scratch you, maim you, rename you, and kill you. Oh, he's not happy. Ah, ah, gator! Hey, you got nicked, man. That's why you shouldn't try this at home. He puts a lot of research into it. He will research animals, he will research locations. What kind of snake is it? It's a bull snake. And that ain't no bull. And it's all self-taught. At night is when you're gonna find them, but in the daytime they'll come out if there's nobody around. You see, that's a baby. Oh, yeah. Fishes, they, st they stay in school, right? And they ain't that smart. Let's get some more fish. I am what I am because I got that Cajun gene. Yay! And I'm not talking about Levi's or Jabos. I'm the Cajun Knievel. You Cajun understand? Knievel. This is going to sound really corny. He's kind of one with the universe. Is it gone yet? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to play with him a little bit. <laughs> My name's Brian. Uh, I'm Shane's business partner in this crazy business we're in together. <laughs> I trust him more than anybody else to back me up. Stay back. I got him. I got him. If I do get in a bind, he's going to be right there and not fall behind. I start giving it mouth to mouth and pumping his little chest, and <laughs> it throws up in my mouth. I'm basically the brakes, and he's the gas. And I find myself pulling the e-brake <laughs> because he's out of control. Don't be crazy. I'm Susan and I'm Shane's wife. She's my right hand woman. By your brother's rescue, this is Susan. How can I help you? I love everything about it. I do look really normal next to Shane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mean mofo. And when we fight, it's just because I'm having to reel him in. Like, this is my real, I'm over that shit. You hear me? Do you hear me? He likes to think he's in charge of things, but uh, she sets the tone in that relationship. <laughs> Yo, it's messed up. <laughs> if I have, a, I have a big job, we call it all Mike, and he, and he the muscle. <laughs> hey, I got one over here, huh? He called me one time the brains of the outfit. I need you to remove this viper from my friend's tongue. <laughs> <laughs> he's just a good old country boy. If things get tough, he's always going to make you laugh. Looks like all my little palooza around here now, huh? <laughs> Let's go, girls. My name's Taryn, and the boys call me in when the job needs a woman's touch. Look what I got! I grew up in Louisiana. I like to wear makeup, and I like to be pretty, but I like to be tough. Oh my gosh, and then I have blood all over my hands. She's like a brother to us and loves to help out with, with Shane and I relocating animals. We gotta put you in a better place. I mean, I wouldn't want to mess with me. We come take care of you. No, you gotta change. Give them daisy pukes. I'm 15 and I'm a freshman in high school. I love you, baby. Give me a kiss. She is her father's daughter. She is not afraid. I want Lauren to take over the business one day. You're crazy. You're going to learn to be crazy, too. My dad is not afraid of anything. Come around this way. Respect the alligator. But the only thing <laughs> you might be scared of is boys that go in my school. It's a good example here of what I'm going to do to you if you keep messing with these boys. This team is, we're like a family. 
and I know they have my back. Yay! Value Brothers, we've got you covered. And on top of it all, we have a great time doing it. What do we got today, boss? You're just in time. I was just about to tell him uh, about a call that I got. We get a call from Pirate. The wild boars are going crazy out in Breakworth. You know where Breakwaith is, where Hurricane Isaac wiped out that whole community out there where his parent lives? These boys and these armadillas, they going in front of these houses and just tearing everything up. And they're destroying parts of the levee, which is pretty important that we get that taken care of, but they're everywhere. Question, who's going, just you and me? We need, we need help on this one, guys. This you definitely are going to need help. You have to at least have two more people. But please be safe. What's your silliness? Come no, on. No, everything's going to be fine. Do that you remember the happened. last one? That was, yeah, I, I got bit in the face. Do you face, remember whenever your daddy got bit yeah. on his chinny chin chin by yeah. the last wild boar that y'all called together? You, you remember you were helping him with that? I'm the Cajun Knievel. You understand? And we're going to catch some wild boar. With Braithwaite, with the hurricane coming in, destroying everything. These people have been ravaged by Isaac in, in this part of the country. We rebuild, and when we rebuild, we help our neighbors rebuild. But, I mean, it was hit hard by... Oh, it's hit hard. Yeah. Levy breakage, six to eight feet of water in every house, all right? For 18 miles of the river. That's sad. That's a lot of people. Yeah, it's all coming, it's not just us. No, we're going to get um, Taryn and Mike. And we're gonna come and we're gonna give them that experience. Y'all met my pirate? Y'all know what a pirate is? It's, it's my godfather. It's great to have Shane nephew in here to help us out. I guarantee you that we're gonna see some hogs and armadillos during the day here because they have no fear. Right, they have no right. fear right now. Right. Send the team to fan out in different directions. And uh, first person sees an animal is Terry. Huh. And those suckers are fast. So you really have to kind of sneak up on them because they're listening for you. Hey, little guy. She runs and she grabs his armadillo like a professional. Woo! That little sucker, he, they like they vibrate. They're like, mm -hmm. whenever you pick them up. So, <laughs> hey, Jane, I got him. I was lucky because I caught the first one and it was so cool. But well, we gotta put you in a better place. A place where you can roam around. You gotta quit tearing up people's yards. Look what I got! I have to say the only thing is that I think that they need armadillo perfume. I was able to spot one, fortunately. What is one over there? Oh. The jiggly muscles of his. This shaky is. He did great though. Boy, you're so excited. Hey, I got one over here, huh? I got one. <laughs> I enjoy working with the animals more than I do people. Well, you know it's in there. After we caught a few armadillos, we decided to go check some traps that we put out. <laughs> hey, mercy! Yay! We got him. Come see, guys. We noticed we had about 150 pound wild Russian boar in there. This poor pig is so eager to get out that she's actually slamming her face up against the side of the trap and bloodied up his face. We only caught one, but everyone counts. They produce a pethora of babies. Pethora means a lot in Cajun French. This situation is a bit scary. If you get them cornered, they'll come out of a corner swinging. No! Brian, it can't happen when I'm in there. Next step is subduing the pig so that we can deal with it safely. To do it the most humane way, Brian, you're gonna hold that noose. You're gonna hold it tight. It looks like you're hurting him, but you ain't hurting him that bad. You're gonna pull and you're gonna hold him tight, all right? Because I'm gonna then go into the cage. Now let's go in and get this done. Good job. All right, the danger element, folks. People have died from these animals. This animal would eat me if it could. I gotta get in, get it up. Coming up. I know. All right, hold him, hold him. All right, I'm taking him out, coming this way, I like this. But that hog's still shaking. And I flip him over like a professional wrestler. Hold on, just don't move. Don't move. Get back, all right? Let me do this, y'all get blurry. Well, I thought I had him under control, but I did. 
heart jumped. He's still not chained up. Oh, man. Shit, that leg right. There you go, Brian. Brown, get it. That's not a baby. You're going to get your hand bloody, baby. It's all right. All it would have taken for her to do is just go and bite me, and that would have been it. I'm gonna take care of you. Yay! That's okay, honey. Oh. Karen, good work, honey. Thank you. We got the back legs getting done by Brian. We're getting the front legs by Mike. Good work, guys. All right, girl. Yay! Yay. Yay. Take them up, over top. Up, top. up top. Up top. Up top. Nice and safe. Up top. Nice. What we need to do is just put them on a boat back to Russia. Come on, guys. Have him bring his passport. We'll stamp it and get him out of here. I say, yay! And you know, I'm ready to go.